Hello everyone and welcome to episode 101 of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Before I get into today's questions, let's pick the winner of the gift card giveaway in the last video. So the way I'm going to do this is with a random comment generator and see who it is in 3, 2, 1, boom! And the winner is... CT Bricks. I'll read your question in a minute. Get into contact with me either through Instagram or Discord so that way you can get your gift card. Congratulations, my dude. And he says, ASA, so happy to see ASA continue. Thank you, my dude. What would you rather, the sequels never existed or them as they are now? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes, my dude. Honestly, I know the sequels suck like most of the time, but I would still pick having the sequels over not having them. There's a few things from the sequels that I do like. I like The First Order. I know The First Order kind of doesn't make sense and it's like, well, how did they rise to power and all this stuff? But you got to admit, they look really cool. I love their vehicles. I love the interior of like their Star Destroyers. I love the way they look. Like the First Order Stormtroopers are just, they're gorgeous. So I'm like, I, I like The First Order. So I'm like, that's something good that came out of the sequels. Unfortunately, the sequels suck though and they kind of ruined The First Order and all that. So, but that's another topic for another time. But now let's get into the rest of the questions. I got 18 more questions to go because everyone was nice enough to leave me 19 questions in total. So thank you all very much for your questions. Before I get into them, I will say though, if you have any questions for the next episode, please consider leaving them down below. And while you're down there, maybe leave a like. It helps out a lot. Now let's get into it with D Bionic Builder. ASA, do you think LEGO Star Wars is getting worse or is it that our expectations are higher? That's a fantastic question because I know that a lot of people nowadays seem to like love everything Lego does no matter what and will defend it no matter what even if it's like god awful or they'll complain and cry and whine about literally anything. Oh this minifigure doesn't have leg printing. Boo hoo. What a baby. I'm kind of in the boat that Lego has maybe gotten worse but not in the sense that like I think oh my gosh the helmet holes ruined the minifigure. I think that they're getting worse with their advertisement because and no one can deny this like regardless if you love Lego Star Wars or not which I do by the way the false advertisement is getting kind of ridiculous like the biggest prime example is the 212 troopers from the ATTE last year and I know everyone's probably getting sick of other people and myself included saying this when you look at the clone troopers helmet it has the nice printing that goes all the way to like the middle part and that nice curved arrow but then when you have the minifigure in hand it's it doesn't touch and it's like this weird square blob at the end that just that's not right and that's false advertisement you know lego's been doing that with other things like the ucs x-wing they show that the printed piece doesn't have that little hole in it but then when you have the set it has the hole in it so it's like what's going on they keep using like photoshop and all that to like make their sets it's probably not photoshop but they keep using like these images to make the set look perfect and then when you get it it's like oh wait that's not right that's not how it actually is i would say that lego's getting worse in that aspect because they're blatantly lying to us you know it's not like the end of the world obviously and if you don't like it don't buy it right like it's not like gonna kill you but in terms of like sets and designs and all that stuff it really just boils down to your preference if you don't like something then you don't like it right and that's perfectly fine i still think lego's doing a fantastic job when it comes to like designing sets i haven't gotten it yet as of the time of me recording this video but like i'm really excited to get the ghost because I think that's a fantastic set and that's probably going to be my favorite set this year. In fact, I guarantee it's going to be my favorite set this year. What a fuck. Hopefully that made sense. I don't know if I answered this question good or not. I don't think Lego's getting worse and I don't think our expectations are getting higher. I just think that Lego needs to stop lying, but I also think Lego's doing good at what they do and I also think that not everyone's going to like everything Lego does, you know, and that's perfectly fine. Next question is from TG Collection. He says, ASA, I'm so glad that the series is going to continue. Thank you, my dude. Now for my question, I would love to see another Death Trooper battle pack. What would be your dream Imperial battle pack? And then a bunch of beautiful potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes, my guy. I'm not a huge fan of TK Troopers, but I do think a TK Trooper battle pack for the Bad Batch Season 3 would be pretty cool just because we still don't have Lego TK Trooper minifigures. So that would be a great way to introduce them because then people that love them could be like, hey, I'm going to get 20 and then have, you know, an army of them. But really anything with Imperial Troopers would be awesome. Another Death Trooper battle pack would definitely be awesome. The only thing that I would not want in a 
new battle pack would be any named characters. So like maybe Darth Vader for an example. I could picture Lego doing that someday. More officer looking characters. I've never been a fan of them. And then the newest version of the Stormtrooper. We need a redesign on the Stormtrooper. They Literally, they just need to go back to the last design. That was way better than what we have now. I'm going to die on this hill. I hate that Stormtrooper. I am a big fan of Stormtroopers, and I hate it. I don't like the family guy looking Stormtrooper. Uh, Gary's way black. Next question is from Flaming Brick Studios, and he says, ASA, what LEGO Star Wars set would you have come out in the next wave slash what do you wish was a Star Wars LEGO set but was never? Ever made? That's a really good question, but honestly, I don't really know if I have a good answer for this. The first part of the question is, what would I want to be in the next wave? Definitely a Star Destroyer. I want another LEGO Star Wars Star Destroyer playset, just because like I don't own any, and I want one, and I don't want to spend like close to $500 on one, so a new Star Destroyer would be fantastic. But the other part of the question, what would I want to see made that's never been a set? I don't really have an answer for that. I'm kind of good with just letting LEGO decide what they want to make and I'm good with just buying it you know I just roll with whatever next question is from read renders what non Lego Star Wars sets do you like I mean there's a lot of great Lego sets out there that aren't Lego Star Wars like Lego Minecraft for an example is probably my second favorite theme I don't buy Minecraft sets anymore just so I can have more money for Star Wars but like Lego Minecraft has some really cool sets and then I really like those Lego dream sets I'm not gonna get any but like they're really cool too next question is from Swifty bricks I'm not sure if I I said that right ASA what set do you have the most of so I've never been really into the whole idea of buying multiples of the same set I've always just stuck to buying one of every set I rather save my money to buy one of every set in a year rather than say five of one battle pack you know because if I bought multiples of one set I wouldn't have enough for everything else but I did get two of the May the 4th Death Star promos because I placed two separate orders I bought the X-Wing and all the dioramas and all that separately so I actually got two of them so I have one sealed and one opened and as a cheeky little plug I did a little short review on it if you want to check that out do you want to explode next question is from Plurpis ASA have you ever had turtle soup a nice hot turtle soup mm -hmm. nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup I have not ever had turtle soup I don't think I ever will or could like I like turtles turtles are cool yeah I like turtles I, unless I ate it unknowingly like I, I definitely have never had turtle soup like looking at these pictures here it doesn't even look good like it that looks kind of nasty right like but maybe it's just because I know what it is it's it's a sad little turtle next question is from pixelide ASA where did you get enough money to give away $100 aka what's your job if it's not just YouTube I wish YouTube was my job but unfortunately I don't even make a penny for uploads I don't get nearly enough views to even come close to being able to monetize my channel but where do I get my money I sell pictures of Ray's feet on my OnlyFans and I also sell other things for higher paid subscriptions if you're interested okay jokes aside that that's probably kind of not funny but I have two jobs I work at my church I do childcare. I've been doing that for like six or seven years probably actually eight years I don't even know and then I also am a buster at a local restaurant so I clean up after people People when they're done eating and sometimes people make huge just awful disgusting horrible messes and so if you're one of those people please be more considerate but um yeah so those are my jobs next question is from Mne and he says have you ever watched Futurama you pronounced my name right yay I did it I, I, I've always been like worried I'm saying his name wrong because you know I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at reading in, re in real life so um yeah but anyways no I have not ever watched Futurama so sorry it just it's never looked appealing to me I know literally in the last episode of ASA I said that I'm a big fan of animation and all that I've never really been into like too much adult TV if that makes sense like I haven't maybe I'll give it a try someday but as of right now I haven't seen it so yeah next question is from just another Jack and he says ASA has your opinion on doorknobs changed since the last time I asked remember Doorknobs is illegal on other planets. It definitely has not. I still think doorknobs are cool. Doorknobs are very useful. And doorknobs as a word is fun to say. Like, like doorknobs. And also the way it's spelled, it looks funny, you know. So, yeah, doorknobs, doorknobs are cool. But not as cool as potatoes, of course. <laughs> Thank you.
Next question is from Scott Days. ASA, do you feel Lego has lost some of its innovation as it mostly relies on sales from licensed theme sets? I don't really think so because like, of course, theme sets have always been the most high selling sets because like people like Star Wars and Minecraft and the non-licensed sets like City and stuff are cool, but that's only for people that want to build like a city. But like people like me that love Star Wars, it's like, heck yeah, am I going to buy this new $170 Lego Star Wars set because I like the movie or the show it's from. So personally, I don't think they've lost their intervention, <laughs> if I'm even saying that right. If anything, I think Lego has gotten better over the years with their creativity. Like sets look better than ever. They use these amazing techniques with like technic pieces and stuff. So they're just really sturdy and strong and they don't crumble in your hand. So like I personally, I think Lego has gotten better over the years. Maybe I was just rough on my sets as a kid, but I remember having some Lego Star Wars sets that were just like, the second you touch it, it was just like, it falls apart, you know? But maybe I was just a rough kid. I don't know. Next question is from Ogdo Bogdo. ASA, have you ever fought Ogdo Bogdo in Jedi Fallen Order? And if so, how did it go? You know, I, I don't fully remember ever thinking Ogdo Bogdo was tough in Jedi Fallen Order. And maybe the reason was because you could pull out its tongue. If I'm remembering correctly, you could pull out its tongue and then that would eliminate one of its attacks and the most devastating one too, because that attack instantly kills you, at least in the new Jedi Survivor game. I don't ever remember Ogdo Bogdo being tough. However, in Jedi Survivor, the spawn of Ogdo Bogdo is insanely difficult. That fight took me forever. In fact, I'll, I'll admit, I had to switch to an easier difficulty, and I was just playing on Jedi Knight. So, like, what the heck? Like, he was really tough, and I think the biggest reason was because you couldn't pull out its tongue and slice it off like you could in the last game. I swear you could. I'm, I'm not sure if you can. It's been forever since I've played Fallen Order. But then, and, and spoilers, but I mean, the game's been out for a good while now, so I think people won't mind. You then had to fight Ogdo Bogdo and his son together at the same time in one of those force tiers. That was horrible, so I had to switch to an easier difficulty again. It's just, it's a nightmare. So in Jedi Fallen Order, I don't think I ever had a problem with him. In Survivor, oh my gosh, it was horrible. You're dead! Next question is from Blitz Pods. I'm not sure if I said that right, but ASA, what is your favorite type of battle droid? Mine is the Magna Guard. And then a couple potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm going to go with commando droids. I just think they're really, really, really fun the way they can like jump and spin and they use those swords and then their blasters. They, they just look really cool. Like I just, that's my favorite battle droid. And I hope that Lego someday redesigns the clone commando because they look absolutely disgusting with those really long legs and short arms. Ugh. No, thank you. Next question is from Wow DD Brick, and he says, "If there was any prequel trilogy set that you would like to be made, what would it be, and why?" I answered a question very similar to this a few episodes ago, and I think a separatist version of the MTT, so basically just blue, would be a really cool set to get because Legos never made one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Clone Wars would count as prequels, right? Because it's in that time frame. But so uh, hopefully that counts. But I just think a blue MTT would be so cool. Just another MTT in general though because I don't own either of the MTTs that came out and I would like one but they're like super duper ultra mega expensive now. Last year we got the ATTE. This year we got the gunship. Next year let's get an MTT. Come on. I need Next question is from CJ Funko ASA. What is your favorite Lego Star Wars set that is retired? That's a good question and possibly kind of hard for me to answer because there's a lot of like just amazing Lego sets that are out there. But one that comes to mind right now is Kylo Ren's shuttle from 2019. That is one of my all time favorite Lego Star Wars sets. It's just absolutely just amazing. So I'll say that one. Next question is from Growly Grass. Do you think Starkiller will be in Ahsoka? No. I don't really think so. I'm, I'm not really big on the whole theory that that Inquisitor guy, I can't even remember his name. I just think he's just a, guy, a person that's there and he's probably going to die. But I don't think it's going to be Starkiller or anyone else. If they ever do introduce Starkiller into canon, I think they're going to do it with just straight up being like, hey, look, here's Starkiller. He's in canon again. I don't think they're going to try to sneak him in something like Ahsoka. But if I'm wrong, that would be 
kind of cool, right? Next question is from Under the Turtle. ASA, what is your favorite Star Wars character in Legends? And then three potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm going to go with Darth Revan. Darth Revan is just always oh so cool. The way he has the purple and the red lightsaber, the way he has that Mandalorian mask. His theme is just really cool. Like Darth Revan is just, he's a very cool looking guy. Yeah. Next question is from Aurora Bricks. ASA, what is your favorite dinner? And then a potato. Thank you for the potatoes. Believe it or not, I'm not even going to say anything that has potatoes in it. I love Italian food, so pretty much any kind of pasta dish or pizza is just always just so amazing. I just, yeah, I love pasta and pizza. So that's my favorite dinner. And our last question is from Thick Imposter. ASA, what games slash shows slash movies would you like Lego to make into sets? So for games, I'm definitely going to go with Jedi Survivor slash Fallen Order. Like, it's kind of sad and may maybe even a crime, dare I say, that we still have only ever gotten one set, and that's the buildable BD-1. Like, that BD-1 is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> The fact that we still to this day don't have any play sets of like the Mantis or something is kind of sad because like I really think Lego missed out on a huge opportunity to have made sets with like the Mantis or something like that would be really popular like it still would be. And then as for shows and movies I'm gonna just go with pretty much anything DreamWorks like Lego DreamWorks would be amazing. <laughs> You could have things like Lego Shrek, like need I say more, but I will. Lego Over the Hedge, Lego Megamind, The Penguins of Madagascar. Those movies are fantastic and I love DreamWorks. If we got Lego sets themed around DreamWorks movies and shows, oh, Kung Fu Panda, that's another one just came to mind. Like that would be just amazing. Like it needs to happen. So that's what I'm gonna go with with movies and shows and for games, Jedi Survivor slash Fallen Order. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you for all the wonderful questions make sure you ask a question or two for the next episode leave a like if you enjoyed have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time goodbye